with a good piece of beef chuck and three hours of slow simmering, this succulent and delicious beef chuck pot roast is on the table. As always, fast things fast, get the prep work out of the way and we'll be on our way to doing this delicious dinner. On the cutting board, I have about five pounds of beef chuck. This is a cut that comes from around the shoulder area, have a lot of connective tissues, nicely marbled. This is a very busy area because it's involved with motion. So this takes a little bit longer to cook in a slow way. So cut this into big chunks, just like that much. We'll head to the stove, start searing to get it very nice and deep depth of flavor. I'll leave this one. So this will obviously shrink as they cook. You can actually cook this just the way it is, whole. Ribrary season this with salt and pepper on all sides. Once the beef is all seasoned, let it rest for a bit. For the aromatics to go with the beef, one large onion. Dice. Onions aside and break some garlic cloves. Separate, peel and leave whole. Put these whole garlic cloves aside. I get four carrots here. Just peel and dice them into very large pieces. Just like so. Remember, this is a slow cooking dish. So if we cut them too small, they're just going to cook too fast and fall apart. I'll set this aside actually. But for the rest, just go ahead. Set the carrots aside and peel the potatoes. For the potatoes, I have about 10 of these Yukon Gold potatoes. Just peel them and cut them in halves. With the potatoes all done peeling, I have five shallots. All I wanna do is separate this, peel, cut it in half, and then just set it aside. This will finish our dish, but they are going to be cooked separately. For this one with two pieces, all I need just to put them like that, but I can cut this in half. Doing the last shallot here. And for this, you can basically substitute with white onions or pearl onions. They work best too. So these shallots are done. Into this very hot Dutch oven style pan, add two tablespoons vegetable oil and start searing the beef. Once the beef is seared on one side, give it a turn. This first batch of our beef is all brown on all sides. Finish browning the rest of the batch. With all the beef done browning, add onions. Reduce the fire just slightly. Just remember there's so much salt at the bottom of the pan at this point from the beef. So we are not going to season the onions. But as they sweat, scrape the bottom to release all that fun which equals flavor for a long simmering dish. 
Once all the scraping is done, raise the heat again. And then I'll add the whole garlic cloves. The onions and the garlic here, they've had nicely browned. Time to go to the next step. Add a small can of tomatoes. These are nicely diced together with all the water so we can degrease the bottom of the pan. Give this a good stir. Cover and cook the tomatoes slightly. Yeah, these tomatoes are really broken down. They're going to give us a very good base for the sauce that we are looking for in this dish. Into the pot, about four cups water, about four small bay leaves, about a half a teaspoon Italian seasoning, a touch more black pepper, a touch salt, about a quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes just for a slight kick, about a tablespoon balsamic vinegar, and about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. This is optional. You can use soy sauce also. Give this a good stir, bring to a boil, and then return the beef. Scrape the sides. Heat all the way up. Once the pot comes to a boil, give it a quick taste here. Just a touch more salt, being mindful that the beef is already seasoned. And then return the beef into the pot. You want just everything to be barely covered by the liquid. And by the way, you can also use a beef stock at this point, or even chicken stock. That will be even more flavor. Return also all the accumulated juices. This whole pot goes into a 350 Fahrenheit oven. This pot has been bubbling in the oven for about an hour and a half. Now add the potatoes and the carrots into the pot and just will have to touch them underneath the beef and then retart it back into the oven. Cook until the potatoes are fully cooked and the beef is cooked through. So back into the oven. Into this saute pan, add two tablespoons vegetable oil or any oil of your choice. Bring it to heat. Into the pan, carefully lay the shallot. The ones that are cut, cut side down. I will sprinkle some salt, a touch of our Italian seasoning. and just some black pepper. We are looking for a slight brown fear here and then we're gonna finish them in the oven. They will have cooked it through by the time our chuck roast is done. So this pan goes into the oven. So friends, there you have it, straight from the oven, our bubbling, chuck roast, slow cooked. The vegetables are nicely cooked, still intact. Serve this family style. Top with our roasted shallots. They will add sweetness and a good amount of textures. You can't go wrong with this dish. A perfect dish for Sunday supper or even entertaining with friends. And there you have it.
Time to give this dish a quick taste here. Looks so beautiful already. So friends, there you have it. After about three hours of simmering in the oven plus the prep work, this is the result, a very delicious, succulent chuck pot roast, a dish that you can do on any day of the week and especially when you have a day off or a Sunday supper, it works for you. It's a dish you can also have just by itself. It will work with a chapati, some rice or pasta. It's a perfect dish on any day of the week. Thank you so much for watching this one. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.